Welcome back to our tech. In today's video, we're going to review a very special ceiling fan. So this is the Q series fan from Superfan. It's a brand new fan from them. Comes in many exciting dual tone colors. They call it a fan for every room because it comes in different sizes right from 600 mm up to 1500 mm. So that means this can be fitted in any room you have, no matter how big or how small it is. Also, all of the fans come with the remote, regardless of the size. And they're all BLDC fans, which means they're going to save a lot of power on the long run. In this video, we're going to have a look at the whole family of fans, the whole Q series. And I'm going to show you the different colors they have, the kind of unboxing experience you have with Superfan. They're very eco-friendly and they don't use plastics. They're trying to avoid it as much as possible. Also, Superfan happens to be one of the first few BLDC fan companies in India. They've won several awards for their innovation in ceiling fan designs. Do check out their website at superfan.in. Coming back to the Q-Series, they've actually implemented something called as Levit technology, which makes the blades unique of this fan. Just to show you an example, there's a, a brand new BLDC fan from Jupiter on the right. That's the blade of the Jupiter fan. And the one on the left, which has this unique angle, is the Superfan blade. Well, the design is actually functional. I mean, I did a test with two other fans. So one is an Osiko fan. I mean, which you're seeing here, the black one, it's it's pretty new model. It's a pretty quiet fan, honestly. And at full speed, you do hear, I mean, if you ignore the wind noise, of course, you do hear a flutter from the blades, right? Let's also check out the Atomberg fan. Now, again, this is a smart fan. It's a new model. It's, a, it's maybe about a year and a half old. But at full speed, you do hear the flutter from those blades. Just ignore the wind noise. There's no mono noise in both the fans, of course. And now, let's listen to the Superfan, Q-Series fan. Just listen to it. It sounds so much quieter. So let's go ahead and check the fan out. I mean, we have a full series of uh, review coming up here. So please do subscribe and uh, hit the like button. I see that many of you guys are watching my videos, but do not subscribe. So please do hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell icon. Thank you. So, there are about six different sizes. So I've got three different boxes which have two of these fans each in each of these boxes. I'm guessing the biggest one has the 1400 and the 1500 mm, whereas the other two boxes have the remaining sizes. So let's quickly have this unboxed. So nothing fancy on the boxes. You can see that everything is just simple, plain cardboard, which you can recycle. I'm opening some of these boxes and you can see the neatly packed two fans in each box. So opening the last big box. So now we have all three open. This is exciting. Okay, the first box is here. Now remember all the fans have the same design the base design is the same so the experience you're going to get is only going to change with the blade size but otherwise the design all other aspects of this fan is going to be the same so this is the first piece again the blades are kept in this nice cardboard box so this box looks a little smaller than expected and it's supposed to be the 600 mm there's also another set at the bottom of this and this is the 900 mm blade So let's open this up. There you go. <laughs> this this is really cute. So this is uh, the 600 mm fan blade. It comes in this nice pearl white finish, and it looks incredibly cute. And it's again got that same angular design on the blade. So um, it's uh, it's nice to see that you know they they're even making the smaller sizes. So this one's uh, really cute. 
So let's open up the next one. So this is the 900 mm blade. I love this color and this dual tone finish is really nice. All blades are made of aluminum and a pretty lightweight. This one delivers about 150 cubic meters per minute of airflow. So let's get to the motors here. So both these boxes have some details about pricing and stuff like that. I noticed that the smaller fan is actually more expensive on the box. I think the box price for the smaller three, uh, 600mm is about 7.5 and, a half. and uh, the you know 900mm is about 6,000 not change. Yeah, they're, they're pretty expensive. So let's open this up. And again inside the experience is different so like i told you it's a cloth cover so there's no plastic so it's just a cloth with the cardboard protecting everything and here's this new q series design so as you notice so this one's the pearl white finish this is a 20 watt motor for the smaller model again all made in india as always, the Superfan logo right in the middle is a backlit one. So when the fan is actually powered on, it will glow, but the light won't power on when the fan is functional. Inside, again, you have the standard accessories, you have the canopies, you have a small plastic pipe connecting the canopies, you have a warranty card, you have a user manual, and also the SCD kit to mount the fan. The down rod, which is about a feet long, some connecting screws, and something unique. This is a safety protection device for the fan so that you avoid dropping it. So this is something additional. So it's a wire rope, which helps you secure the fan to the ceiling hook. The remote, well, now that's a different story. This is a T6, T-series remote from Superfan. It's again, beautiful design. We had reviewed the V-series fan, you should see the video and that also had a very nice fan remote. So this remote is special because it has totally different controls as compared to the regular remote control. Let me explain. So, so obviously this fan has got reverse function, so it can go in reverse, but speed is going to be limited. It's between low and medium, you can't adjust that. There is this breeze function, basically like your sea breeze function. So if you press that button, it's going to give you a feel of, you know, heavy airflow as well as slight reduction. So it feels as if you're sitting on the beach and you're getting natural airflow on you, which is nice. This is, there's another button called as the fine speed control. So what this does is, well, there's no one, two, three, four, five, six, as you can notice. So when you press high, which means your maximum speed, You'll have to press this fine speed adjustment to bring the fan speed down a bit. So it will reduce the fan uh, speed a bit until it reaches the medium speed. Again, when you're on medium and hit the fine speed uh, button, it's going to reduce the speed until it reaches low. You also have a timer function. Uh, there's a two hour and a six hour timer. Um, like I mentioned, there's high speed, low speed and medium speed, which you're going to use. There is an eco comfort mode. Again, the fan will run at slightly higher speeds than you expect. That's because it's trying to maintain uh, the optimum CMM level, which uh, this fan is designed to give. So, uh, yeah. And then you have this AC mode, wherein it's going to run between medium and low again, just to make sure that there's some sort of circulation when you're using the AC. And then there's a wellness mode. So wellness mode differs from eco mode in such a way that uh, for let's say a 1200 mm fan there's a particular set of air delivery uh, cmm levels that you have so this fan will try and maintain that at a much lower you know uh, speed because the blades are designed differently so yeah that's the remote and something which they forgot to mention on this remote is that it glows in the dark how beautiful is that have a look so also uses a lithium cell. Let's get on to the next size. Again, a uh, nice logo. I never saw that. They were nominated for Appliance of the Year award. So that's on one of these boxes. So this looks like an exciting color. And it is. 
How beautiful is this color? Really nice. This one's really standing out. So this one's the 25 watt motor and this is the 900 mm fan. Again, it's uh, five star rated. 25 watts, made in India. And I love its color. I mean, this, this is really nice. Stands out. Again, in the box, canopy. You have two of them. Of course, the top cover and the bottom cover. You have the down rod, remote. Same color. I thought it'll be different, but it's the same. They just have two colors, black and white. This is the connecting rod for the canopies. So there's an STD box for fixtures and the wire rope. So these are the two smallest sizes and they are the cutest ones here. So um, I really think uh, these look really cool. They have other color options too. So you should do check them out on the website. I happen to get my hands on this particular set of colors. And let me know what you guys think in the comments below. So all of these blades have this unique angle to it. So that's what makes this really unique. So I'm just going to have these fixed quickly. It's a pretty simple standard process. You just need a star screwdriver. And that's it. Let's fix the smaller one. And that looks really nice. Some sort of a propeller like design. So this is how these two look once they're ready to go on the ceiling. So the Levite design concept on those blades. Okay, so this is the next size. Again, this is the 1050 mm. This one gets about 210 cmm. And we also have the 1200 mm in the next box and this one's the black and the gold combination wingspan about 1200 mm and the cmm rating for this one is 260 so this is the most powerful motor among all the fans here so i was literally surprised to see that this one's actually got the 35 watt motor as compared to even the biggest one which has about 30 watt motor so the 1200 mm fan should be really quick so by the way, I have um, a noise test coming up at the end of the video, so do look out for that as well. So yeah, so this color is nice, the orange and the blue. This one's about 25 watts again. I expected a black remote, but again, it's a white remote. The other fan, of course, this looks gorgeous. The gold dust color with the black outline really good quality paint here and this is a 35 watt motor again let me just reiterate that the 1200 mm fan has the most powerful motor so this is another set so 1050 and the 1200 mm what do you guys think about the colors let me know in the comments below and now for the last box we get to the big size blades this is a gorgeous color this rose puff color i think is the best color of the qc fans so this 1400 mm fan has a cmm rating of about 300 so that's really good air delivery 
Let's also open the last box. And this is the mega fan, which is the five feet or the 1500 mm fan. And this one generates about 330 cubic meters per minute of airflow. So that's the highest you have among all these fans. Okay, so let's open up the motors as well. Ah, uh, that pink color really stands out. I like that. The beige though, I mean, it's okay. So this one's got the really nice finish, the 1400 uh, mm one. And it only consumes 30 watts, whereas the 5 feet one also consumes 30 watts. Strange, right? So no bigger motor for that. So it's going to have fewer rotations, but I think it's going to make up with the blade size. So let's have a closer look. And you notice this gap it has. I mean, this is all clearance because there are some things in this fan motor which do not rotate. So we'll come to that a little later. I'll show you how it works. And here's a final look at the 1400 and the 1500 mm fans. So overall, there are about six different sizes you can choose from and beautiful colors as well. The ones here are the ones I got, but you have more options on the website. So do check them out. Also, look at the size of the blades. I mean, they, they go all the way from, you know, being really tiny, you know, for your dressing room or a changing room and maybe for some shops as well and it goes right all the way to about 1500 mm for a big haul and these are really quiet fans as well i leave links in the description below for all of these uh, fans do check them out so this wire rope so we're going to fix one of the smaller fans initially just to see how it looks and how easy is it to fit so the wire rope goes in this small little clamp which they've given you. Yep. So once you do that and once you add the canopy, canopy holder, so this is how it's going to look. Yep, I've got it up. I really like this color among all of the other colors here. So I'm going to replace one of my all-time favorite fans, the Orient Aeroquet with, with the 1200mm fan. And I just want to show you how this looks. So that angle there is what makes this fan so unique, right? So it gives you this levitation kind of uh, feel. So the central portion of the fan doesn't rotate. And here's the light. I mean. This light is pretty bright. It's so bright that it even lights up that plastic cap it's got. So we managed to fix the 1400 mm as well. And it looks great. This is also a pretty big fan. So let's go ahead and turn this thing on and see how it works. Really different this fan. I mean, I, I like that central portion being so still. And that LED in the middle gives you an indication whether your fan is actually responding to the remote. So that's a very nice feature. So I'm trying all different modes here. Like I mentioned, the remote, uh, I did give you a guide of how the remote works. So you can try different options on the remote. Personally, I think it's a good idea rather than using one to five or one to six, you can probably give high, low and medium. And that's a good option because I don't think everybody uses all the different speeds. You have the wellness mode, the AC mode, as well as your eco mode. So I don't think you're going to need any more buttons on this one. So the fan will run in reverse as well. So in case it's winter and you want some warm air to be circulated or pulled up, 
this fan can run in reverse as well. So that's a useful feature. So before the fan turns into reverse, it, it does take a few seconds. So just remember that. So it will come to a full standstill and then it'll start turning clockwise, which means it's actually pulling up air rather than pushing air down. The speed is non-adjustable in reverse. I also like the you know breeze mode wherein it gives you this flow of air, sudden bursts of uh, air as well as you know slowing it down automatically kind of helps you when you don't want constant air hitting yourself all the time. So that's another useful feature. Now for some noise tests. I've, I've done a lot of noise tests for some of the other BLDC fans. I'll start leaving, you know, uh, cards up. You can just check the links above. So this one's going to be special. So this is uh, this is the Q series fan. So I'm going to do the test for the 1400 mm fan as well as the 1200 mm fan. Let's have a look as to what kind of readings this throws up at different speeds. So you only have three speeds here. So I'm only going to test it for the low, medium and high. So ambient noise, very difficult to get these days, but uh, I mean, I managed to get sort of zero. It's not professional readings here, but can help you understand how much noise this fan is making. So at max speed, it went up to about 55, I would say. Yeah, it just touched about 50, but it did not cross 50 a lot. So pretty quiet, this fan, honestly. And the sounds really nice. It, it's not irritating as your fan in regular high speed mode. So it's really nice. Now for the 1200 mm fan, and this is the most powerful fan here. So I'm just going to turn it on. Let's give it a good whip. certainly feels a lot more powerful. And now for the noise test for the 1200 mm fan. Again, no professional instruments, I'm just using a normal mobile phone. So 
So there is some ambient noise because this is located in a different place. So about 18 odd decibels. So let's start off. Yep. So we're looking at about 24, 25 on low speed. medium so this one is jumping in between 40 to 50 for medium already and let's see what happens at full speed <laughs> yeah this one's easily uh, averaging about I would say 60 Look at the numbers, yeah, but maybe around 55 to 60. So this has got the most powerful motor, so um, it does have more RPM and it makes more noise. So those were the noise test results for two of the most common sizes. So I hope you liked the video. I hope you had a good idea of what the Q-Series fan is all about and why it's so special. Do leave uh, your comments below. Let me know if you have any questions. And also, uh, if you want to buy these fans, I'll leave links in the description below. As always, uh, thank you so much for watching our tech. I really appreciate it. Please do subscribe if you haven't. And if you have, thank you so much again. Hit the like button and the bell icon. And you will see many such more videos from me in the future. Once again, thank you so much for watching our tech. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.